There's one thing that every single twin flame is afraid of, and it doesn't matter where you're at in your journey. You could be like me in Harmonious Twin Flame Union. You could be working your way through healing physical separation from your twin flame. It doesn't matter where you're at. Every single one of us has this fear. And this fear is rooted in one core fear, but it manifests externally in many different ways. And so much so that the, the core of this fear and how it branches out in your, in your reality, in your consciousness, a lot of it is in your subconscious where you've not yet even, maybe you don't feel it yet, or you're not aware of it yet, but I'm going to cut right to the chase. And I'm going to tell you exactly what that fear is. Now, I'm Brienne, a master certified Ascension coach with Twin Flames Universe. And as I was sharing with you before, we're just gonna get right down to the nitty gritty of it so that you can look within your own consciousness and start to resolve the core of this, okay? And the one thing that every single one of us, which is why we're experiencing separation in the first place, separation from perfect union with God, self, and twin flame. If you're new to my channel and you don't like the word God, well, you can use source, you can use love, you can use universe, whatever feels best for you at the root of it, we all identify with it as love. And so for me, God is not a religion. God is divine, unconditional love. And now that we got that out of the way, let's get back to it. The one thing that we're all scared of and we're all moving through it is ourselves. <laughs> you probably, probably were not expecting that one or maybe you were, but it's true. We are scared of ourselves. And here is where ego's game is, okay? As you are working the process of ascension and you're healing on your twin flame journey, we're going to encounter a thing called the ego. And this is where separation stems from. And the ego is going to scream at you and tell you to not look at those places or when your twin flame triggers you, don't go there. Even though you know logically you're supposed to go there and you're supposed to look at those places, underneath there's gonna be a, a fear. And you may have experienced this in your journey before. You know, I, I've spoken with other twin flames and I even encountered this very early on in my journey, but you might see your twin flame sometimes and there's just like this instant fear, you know, and you don't really even know where it's coming from. Well, that fear comes from them, them mirroring back those components of yourself that you're afraid of. Essentially, it's, it's a fear of self. And, and that fear of self is fear of your own power. But the ego wants to trap you here. And this is really what I want to uh, drive home. The ego wants to trap you in you believing that you're bad meaning that if you if you really go deep into these fears of self and and these fears of in whatever way they're manifesting the ego wants you to believe that you're evil that you're sinister that you are bad and that you're wrong in so many ways and the reason that it wants you to believe this is because if you actually look there you actually look at yourself and you resolve your upsets what are you going to find on the other side? You're going to find love. You're going to find your divine self, but the ego doesn't want you to find that. It doesn't want you to discover that you are divine. Why? Because it wants you to remain separate. And when I'm talking about the ego, we don't have ego, right? We were created by our source and we were not created with an ego, but because we have free will, Somewhere along the lines, we decided to play a game of separation and here we are and we're all healing it and resolving it together because we actually don't like this game anymore. I don't know about you, but I don't like the game and so I am diligently healing through my consciousness anytime I find fear. But I want to share this with you so you don't fall into this trap. Know that anytime 
you're experiencing fear, it's a fear of self, it's a fear of power, it's a fear of who you truly are, but that fear also stems from believing somewhere inside of yourself that you're not good, that you're a bad person, that you are a, a spawn of Satan, so to speak, but that's not who you are, literally none of us. All of us were created as divine beings now in that, you know, where we're currently at in our consciousness, you know, there's a lot of patterns, there are traumas, there are wounds, and sometimes people will play out those patterns and those wounds subconsciously. And if you've ever heard that saying, hurt people, hurt people, and that is where, you know, if you look at your ancestral line or you look at family patterns that have been crossed down or passed down, I should say, from generation to generation. That is because hurt people are hurting people, but it doesn't mean that they're wrong and it doesn't mean that they're bad. It just means that they're not aware that there's something underlying there and that something can be resolved. It can be healed, but you, you watching this video right now, you manifesting your harmonious twin flame union, you know that it can be healed. And I want you to know today that you are divine. Throw all of that naysay, ego talk out the window. And don't be afraid to look within yourself. Whatever your twin flame is showing you right now, whatever, whatever they're mirroring to you, that's just a, a hurt that they're mirroring back to you. It doesn't mean that you're bad. It doesn't mean that you're wrong. It doesn't mean that you are evil in any way. It just means that they're showing you where you're hurting, right? And you're doing for this to, for the uh, you're doing this for them as well. You're mirroring back to them where they are hurting within themselves. No one's wrong. No one's bad in all of this. I know I keep repeating myself, but it's important that you really allow that to sink into your consciousness because as you do and you relax into the truth that you're divine, that fear will naturally resolve. It will naturally fall away. And a lot of times we feel fear that we're, or you're not even feeling it yet because you know it's so deeply buried in our consciousness, but your twin flame first and foremost is going to support you in, in uprooting that and bringing that out by simply just being your divine mirror. So don't fall into this trap and know that all fears, it's just, um, there's even a class where, you know, uh, Jeff and Shalia were talking about the, the thing that we're, we fear the most is our power. And that's so true because you are a powerful divine being. And right now, if you're experiencing separation or you're experiencing traumas or, you know, whatever that may be, that's where your power has been invested into but it's okay because a lot of that you you don't remember choosing that you don't remember you know i didn't sign up for this <laughs> you know you don't remember signing up for that but uh that's okay because as a conscious being or an awakened being you are gradually going to come into the knowing of these places where you've invested your energy and you actually don't want to invest it into that anymore because you realize that it's not serving you it's not actually um, giving you what you thought it might have been giving you in the first place. And so the, the antidote here, so to speak, is love. It's to love yourself and remember that you are good at your core. You are divine and you are good and you're pure, unconditional love. And so is your twin flame. And we're simply working our way through the separation through the upsets, through the wounds, through the traumas, to relaxing back into the truth that is all within us. Every single one of us is one with the truth. Okay, so don't be scared of yourself. Don't be scared of your power. Don't be scared of, you know, the thoughts and beliefs that might be floating around in your head and know that ego, it will try to trick you into believing that you should be scared of yourself because you're bad. But don't fall into that trap. Okay, so once again, apply the mirror exercise, love yourself, lots and lots of compassion and knowing that you're on a healing journey 
and you just keep putting one foot in front of another, okay? And don't forget to like, share, su subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.